Good morning and win forever, people of grace. You are welcome. God bless you. Let's welcome the Holy Spirit, Spirit of my Father. We welcome you. Lord of the Lords, the first and the last Alpha and Omega, we love you, Daddy. We love you, Lord of the Lord. Ye who reign, ye who always reign, ye who never fail us. Father, though we know that you won't perfect everything at once, we know that, Father, you love us. If it was not like that, we should be dead. If it was not like that, we supposed to be not be able to do anything on our own. But, Father, we want to acknowledge your love, your kindness, and to say you remain holy in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. We honor you for our lives. We honor you, Father, for the great love, for the protection of every minute, second, hours, years, month. you still there. You protect us 24 hours from the enemy, curses, danger, evil, injuries. We love you. Continue, Father, and have mercy on us and extend and increase, enhance our anointing in order to overcome the plan of the enemy. In Jesus' name, amen. You are welcome. Good morning. Continue to win in Jesus' mighty name. We are speaking and talking and discussing and preaching about the book of First King three. Yes, first three king first king three. Once I'm speaking about King King, I know those who love Bible, who love to read the word. They know always that it's either Saul, or Solomon, David. Yes, it's about King Solomon. King Solomon, a brilliant, richest, a wiser man of God. King Solomon, um, when his father David passed on, his other brother, uh, Abina, <laughs> Abina, whatever the name. Uh, I uh, wanted to take his, let me correct the name. <laughs> you know why? Uh, 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 not, uh, not Abina. Adonijah. Adonijah or Adonijah. He's the one who stole the kingship. While he saw that his papa, King David, was sick. And uh, the priests were not happy. He even did his own ceremony appointing himself the, uh, the priests of God they were not happy and Solomon and Solomon approached his mother once I'm speaking about King David and Solomon remember King David his sin that he committed that one sin I don't know the others that one sin King David before we start I want to give you an introduction introduction to understand who is Solomon, who is King David, who is Saul, Solomon, King David. Once I'm speaking about Solomon, remember the mother Bathsheba. Remember the adultery that Solomon, sorry, uh, sorry King David committed with Bathsheba, uh, Bathsheba as the wife of one of the priests, of, sorry, of the army men, the leaders who were working for King David. Who King David saw her bathing naked and he saw the body and last year and lasted on Bathsheba. They get a child, the child God took his life. Says, Because David, I love you a lot and you are praying, I won't I take your life, I'll take your son's life. And the son indeed died. Yes, and afterwards they got married, yes, with Bathsheba and the boy Solomon and the other brother. So that's where the story comes from. So Solomon was loved by God like the way he loved David because Solomon honored God. Solomon followed the steps of what his father did to do what is right. Yes, to do the right in the eyes of the Lord. Solomon went to, uh, uh, what is that place? I can't spell it. Gibeon. Gibeon to do the offering there after his father passed on, after King David appointed him. When he went there, he, 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 he did an offering 
uh, to God and slaughter all the animals and honor God. And at night, God visit him. That's now the script that we are preaching. That is in verse 3. God honor him during sleeping. He asked him, my son Solomon. Because whatever Solomon did, it impresses our God's heart. What must I do? What must I give it to you? What must I do to, to make you happy? Solomon answered and said, oh, Papa, hmm. you already did it with my father David. He honor you, he love you, but you lifted him and sorry, excuse me, until his dying days. So my father, what I'm asking, I don't want nothing. Anything from you, I don't, I don't want nothing, anything what you want to give me. But what I'm asking is a descending spirit to govern your people. Wow. Wow. If it was Mama Ruth, you know, I'll count uh, the money. Yes, firstly, I know that one I'll do, honestly. Money to support my people, those who are hungry on the street. And then I'll go and say, hey, Father, don't forget, I don't know what I've got a new car, Papa. Uh, my husband bought me a car. I don't want it. Uh, Father, give me a lot of money. Uh, and what I'll bank, my heart knows in front of me. Uh, God even knows it. I'll need more money that they must get sometimes petty bags. I must give them and cash to go and eat a million million rice for my people who's and I a lot of money to do that. Because why? If it was before, I mean up now, now as Mama Ruth, before I'll count to God that I want a mansion, I'll want a car that is million, I know it. Um a last number eh, of that a uh, Ford Ranger. Um I will count a lot of things. But now, since God changed me and bring him closer every day, he's pulling me to ways. I will need a lot of money to support all the orphans that are depending on me every week. So children of God, he asked for a descending spirit. Imagine those days where you are given a platform that asks you know, by then, I will even ask for a, 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 a private jet so that I can travel the world. Isn't it so? Because we were weak. We were not doing God's uh, 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 commands. We were not sort of following the commands. We were living the life that we wanted. But Solomon says, I want a descending heart in order to govern my people. Because remember, it was God who said Solomon must be crowned as a king. And David, God told David, David says, my son, you are my successor. You got favor from God. Because God chose the heart. That's why he chose you. He first checked the heart. That's how he operates. That's why he checked your heart. He knows that no matter how cross you are, your heart is so soft. And you love people. God bless you for that. So, God says, ah, because now you impress me, my son. I'm giving you the discerning spirit to govern your people. That is wisdom. After I'm giving you that, I'm not stopping there. I'm giving you riches. I'm giving you everything will be richer. That's why King Solomon was so rich. Gold. Then he went to King Solomon and Mary. And, and remember, King Solomon, as I said that, he loved God a lot. He loved God when you check in the same script, because we'll be reading it. That is your script to study today. The book of First King, verse 3. From uh, You'll start reading from verse 6 uh, to 15. Verse 6 to 15. First King 3, verse uh, 6 to verse uh, 15. Yes. Hey, he says, you, you are, you are, because you ask that I'll give you will, wisdom, everything, honor. So when it goes interesting, 
the book of uh, Solomon, he ended up marrying um, the queen, Egyptian queen. Then he married uh, Joseph, uh, married Pharaoh's uh, daughter as a queen. And they were pleased. Out of Egypt, it's not evil that always come there. Though they make uh, God's people slaves, and it's not evil that came there. Remember Papa Moses. Papa Moses, when he was put in that in the in the water, so that the Egyptian took him. If Egyptian were very rude, they're supposed to kill that child, but they took him out of Egypt. Papa Moses came; he grew up there. Now, out of Egypt, a queen came to govern, assist his husband and Solomon to sit in the throne and lead the people of Israel. Of Israel. So, out of Egypt is not about evil. Something good came out of it. So, God bless you, children of God. Can you read that and follow your heart and continue to seek only his face? while we continue in this journey of preaching. And I want to give you a motivation that that is in the book of life, that the challenges that you are facing every day, the tears that you are shedding every day, do not think that it's you only. It's written, I think it's, if it's not the book of Romans, it's the book of Acts, the in this first chapter, there, where Apostle Paul said that it's not you only. Remember during your cry that all Christians, he wrote it like that. Every house of Christians, they're crying like the way you cry. We cry, we wipe our tears and smile all the way. But inside, we know that it's heavy. So take heart. Remember the book always of, of John 16, verse 33. Cheer up. He did overcome the world through his blood. It is not permanent. It is temporary. May you be lifted up so that God will always lift you higher and higher. And while your enemies are down, while they watch and look when the time come to bless you. God bless you. Now listen, my people. Tomorrow there's no prayer and fasting. We'll resume only next week, Wednesday. There's no prayer and fasting. Take note. If you want, you can do 12 from 6 morning until midday, 12 o'clock. Yes, and you go to the previous prayers and pray with it. Tomorrow there's no fasting, people of grace. Yes, yes. God bless you. There's a reason, but it's private. God doesn't want me to say it. Uh, I cannot uh, say it, but you must know that I'm busy with preparation. Yes, you'll see the notification if it's not today, by tomorrow. Yes, so God bless you. And remember, there's no fasting. Just do likewise if you are used like Mama Ruth to fast because we all servants of God fast every, even more than your days every week. So you just go if you want to fast tomorrow, you just fast and do half day. Then after half day, go to the prayers. Every week there's a powerful prayer and continue to eat. Don't stay and say, I won't pray, pray. And don't stay there. I won't read the way they read the way. God bless you. Just put your hand in your, your right hand in your chest. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O Holy Father, line of tribe of Judah, here are your children, Lord. Father, their heart desires, Lord. Father, have mercy. Others are even taking tablets, Lord in order to ease the pains through the heart.
Others are suffering from high blood, low blood because of challenges of the heart. Others, Lord Jesus, they don't even have appetites. They can't eat food because of challenges. They are all asking one thing, O Lion of Tribe of Judah. Where is Father God? Son of David, have mercy. They are doing that, Lord. Where is the God of Papa Elijah that answer by fire? Have mercy. That's what they are asking, Lord. Have mercy on them, Lord. Challenge is to go and leave them. Have mercy upon them, Lord. Close the avenue of challenges, Lord. Father, in that dark tunnel that they are walking, let there be light, Lord, to remove challenges. Give them calmness, Lord. Give calmness, Lord. I declare calmness. Calmness, Lord. And let them ask, accept things that they cannot change. Things that belong to you, Lord, to come and fight for them. The battle become, Father, battle belong to you. Battle belong to you. Battle belong to you. Father, give them power to overcome battles. Battles leave them. Father, others suffer from heart diseases due to problems challenges in the houses lord remove it lord lord put darkness into shame put darkness into shame lord challenges and troubles those spirits that don't want them to let go let them be located holy one and disarm the powers of those spirits disarm those powers of those spirits let their hearts be at ease their heart to be at ease. And Father, flush out those sickness and disease. In the mighty name of Jesus, flush out sickness and disease. Repair them, Lord. Give them a new life. New life. New life. And remove heaviness. Heaviness. Heaviness that cause sickness and disease. And challenges in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, restore to them. Restore their heart, their body, flu system. Restore their bone cell marrow. Restore all their organs. In Jesus' mighty name. Let them high. Believe that high. No enemy shall touch you. In the other kingdom, when you are sleeping or when awake, be always above the enemy. Above the plan of the enemy. Be filled with wisdom. Be filled with wisdom. Wisdom like Solomon. Possess wisdom. Wisdom in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. And amen. God bless you. No fasting tomorrow. I have announced. May the blood cover you. Blood of Jesus. The way you release it to me, Daddy. Thank you, Father. Release your blood unto them. You are blood to perfect them. You are blood to put the enemy into shame. Book of Revelation 12, 11. They overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and the words of the testimonies. They are testimonies. They love their lives not unto death. You shall not die. No emergency. No curse of death. No premature death. It will go back to them. No morning henceforth. No December curse. No next year curse. No Christmas curse. No New Year curse. Curses. Curses are silenced in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Emmanuel. And God bless you. Read the book of First King 3 from verse 6 to 15. And God bless you while you are reading. Shalom. You are loved. You are highly favored. Emmanuel.